Hello gamers, this is Danny442. I'd like to welcome everyone to a new episode today. And uh, I'll be showing you what I picked up for the month of January. Now, I've had a good, really good month. Um, I picked up a pretty much a variety of games, modern and retro. And uh, to start things off, uh, I'm going to show you my first game that I picked up for that month was uh, Okami Den. Um, I'm a big fan of Okami. And uh, it, I think it's rightful for me to pick up this game because now it's kind of hard to uh, find it in stores. Um, I managed to pick this up at, um, at a Toys R Us. They actually left, had like two left and I definitely had to pick it up and it was like for $20. It was a deal. So I think why not? Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of the first game, uh, Okami. I did play that on the Nintendo Wii and I thought it was pretty uh, pretty fun to play. Um, it's like a, a, a spar it's a game that's inspired by Zelda. And uh, it had a really cool artistic, artistic style in the game. Uh, it's, a, it's a Japanese uh, watercolor effect that they, they use. So I thought that was beautiful and, and uh, I was really engrossed in the game. So I definitely have to gonna check this out once I get the chance. Uh, next game I got also from Toys R Us is Rayman Origins. Um, I heard a lot of things about this game. Um, and it's a, I heard it's a great platformer. Beautiful game as well. I saw some couple uh, gameplay videos of this. so. Uh, looks a lot of fun and yeah, I'm gonna uh, dig into this game right away because I'm a big fan of platforming games, so uh, it's right up my alley. <laughs> uh, next, th th these couple of games that I'm gonna show you uh, next are from thrift stores that I've been searching um, around New York City. Um, I do, when I, once I go to these thrift stores, I, I do get discouraged a lot of times because it's hard to find things there and a lot of times I do not find anything. But uh, listening to uh, NT1138, one of his advice was to just go into the stores and uh, you never know what you find and uh, that stuck into my head and you know I went to Goodwill and Salvation Army but this time I actually uh, found something that uh, I think is worthwhile to show you guys so uh, first game is a PlayStation 2 game it's Katamari Damacy um, I, I didn't really play this game yet but I what I did watch online was just one of these uh, quirky games where you play as a sticky ball and you collect uh, you roll it and you collect objects and it sticks to this uh, to this ball and it grows larger and you pretty much form a galaxy and I thought it was pretty interesting and I might want to try it out so I gave it a go and took it, I bought it. Um, I got this for a really, I think a pretty decent deal, it's at $2.99 so yeah I'm going to check this out. Um, next game that I thought was pretty cool to pick up was Final Fantasy X-2. Now I do have this game already in my collection, I have the player's choice but what makes this uh, a really cool pickup is that it's a sealed game. Um, I picked this up for $2.99. You can see that it still has the hang tab here and the, the original sticker that, that was uh, factory sealed. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I'll probably, I'm definitely going to keep this sealed because I already have this game. So I mean, it goes up uh, value over time, I believe. So yeah. Uh, next game is uh, a GameCube game. is the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. I do have all the Mega Mans, uh, but I, I Ultima Sato is one of my uh, one of the games I, I do want in my collection for GameCube. It does have uh, Mega Man one through eight, and I think two other Mega Mans that were never uh, really released in the United States, and that was uh, Mega Man the Power Battle and uh, Mega Man two the uh, Power Fighters. Um, those two I've never played before. I just want to check them out, uh, so I'm pretty happy to have this in the collection. It's complete, so. I, I usually collect games that are complete, uh, so that's one thing I mentioned there. Uh, another game I got from the thrift store, uh, it's also two ninety nine, was uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. I do have this game in my collection. I, you know, I, I had to pick it up because I know that these games usually uh, worth more, and I think it'd be good to have for uh, trade in the future if I want to sell it. So uh, pretty cool to have. Uh, another one is also another game that I have in my collection already is uh, Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube. Uh, it's another one that, that I thought it was for instance, it's one of the essentials to have in the GameCube system. But uh, another game that it's good for trade, uh, to give away, so I mean why not. Uh, next is a game that I was really happy to find at the thrift store. Uh, I did not expect to, ha to actually find this. And, and a while back I actually thought of buying this on eBay, it was pretty pricey back then. Uh, but it was recently released to Xbox Live. Uh, online service, so you can actually download and play it on the system. Um, so, in that game is Ikaruga. Um, it's it's one of those sh uh, shmups or shoot 'em ups that I always wanted. It's it, it's notorious to be very very difficult, 
it has this uh, really interesting system, it's a polarity system, where your ship uh, change its uh, shielding from black to white, regard, uh, depending on how you want to use it. Uh, enemies will shoot bullets and lasers at you, at uh, either black and white. So the only way they can destroy you if you're, ver you're like the opposite color, like if the, the bullet is black and your ship is in white mode, so that will definitely destroy your, system, uh, your ship. But if it's a reverse, uh, actually not the reverse, it's more like uh, in the same color, you kind of absorb their attacks. So it's pretty, it's pretty unique, and I definitely, uh, definitely want to try this out uh, firsthand. Uh, what I did find out that this game is really hard. Uh, I, I when I first played the first level, I died so many times. It, it, it's, it's mind boggling how, how hard this game was. But it's uh, if you can master uh, the mechanics, I think it's a really engrossing game that's worthwhile to play. So gamers, the next and last item revolves around uh, me playing uh, the game that I've been playing a lot last year and until the beginning of this year was uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Now, um, many of you probably don't know, I am a completionist in, uh, in any of the Zelda games that I play. Uh, one of the things is you probably know there's a lot of items and a lot of uh, side quests and a lot of uh, mini, mini games that you go through in the game to get all the items like uh, hard pieces and, and so on. So, uh, for me to accomplish that, I can't really uh, find everything. It's, not, it's almost impossible. I mean, so I do have to resort to uh, using a strategy guide. So uh, I just found this uh, recently in the store, and I thought, you know, why not? I definitely uh, uh, do need something to uh, help me get through all those items and uh, complete the game 100%. So uh, this is the collector's edition of the guide. Uh, I thought it was really nice to have. It's actually quite hard to find these nowadays uh, because they are getting quite rare. Um, and uh, online they're getting pretty pricey, so I was pretty happy to find this. I got this about for $25, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, what I like about it is uh, they, they pretty much have this, you know, Triforce symbol right in front. It's a pretty simplistic uh, look at it, but I think it's effective. Uh, has gold trimmings on the side, it's pretty nice. Um, I Oh, one thing is I do tend to keep this sealed until I can get as much item and complete the game as much as I can before even using this guide. So, uh, I do want to uh, uh, discover everything on my own until, until I couldn't do anything anymore. So and then uh, we have to resort to this guide. Um, one last thing before I end up this video is uh, what cool thing is uh, looking in the back. It has one bonus feature is it, it includes a cloth map. So I thought it was a pretty nice uh, thing to have. It kind of can I can use it for a display or even use it uh, when I'm playing the game. So uh, yeah, so do check it out if you're ever uh, interested in getting this guy it's pretty like I said it's pretty hard to find so uh, if you do get a chance to see it pick it up I highly recommend it so that's my pickups video for the month of January 2012 I hope you enjoy what you saw um, again I appreciate it. please let me know what you think subscribe give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you again soon bye